What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banga. Woo! It is the end of the school day. I am thoroughly exhausted. You have no idea how exhausted I am. But I'm about to leave. But then I leave here, then I have to go home and cook. I didn't cook yesterday, so the meat has been sitting there. We're gonna make some smothered pork chops. But I'm like, I, I'm tired. I'm not gonna make it home to about seven o'clock at night. I don't want to cook. If it was just me, I'm okay with a bowl of cereal and, I, and I'm good. But that meat has to be cooked. I'm just tired, y'all. Anyway, then I have another student. He just, he loves Miss Basil to death. Miss Basil. Do you mind if I come in the morning and then I'm gonna come in the afternoon? And can I do that for the rest of the week, Miss Basil? You know, I just wanna come. So, Hunty, <laughs> this morning I heard an announcement because classes start at, um, well, they let the kids into the school at 8 o'clock, right? I heard the announcement for CSU. And at this school, that's called um, the Christian Student Union. And they have service, or they'll have a speaker, you know, they'll do different activities. So I said, I wanted to see what it was like. And um, so eight o'clock, I heard that announcement. I was out the door because my little visitor, I knew was gonna come. <laughs> so I was out the door and went to CSU to listen to the little service and they were having a celebration. So it wasn't the typical, but I did get something. I put it in my bag already and I do wanna share. And this is what I'm gonna do with my kids on Thanksgiving because I'm embarrassed to say this. I really am. It's like we're all so busy with our, with our lives, with school, with studying, with basketball. My other daughter, she's always doing something. So it is rare for us all to be together or we're all hungry at the same time. So we don't always eat together. Or if we're eating, I may be in the, you know, in the kitchen area. Someone may be in the dining room. Somebody be in the living room. Someone may be upstairs. But it's like, we're, it's rare that we're always on the same schedule. Does that make sense? So I will say, it's not one of my proudest moments <laughs> as a mom that we don't really break bread together. Maybe I need to make time for that at least maybe twice a month. I can't, I'm not even going to commit to once a week. Because when I leave school at 9, 10 o'clock, is it fair for the kids to wait? You see, so it's like one of those things. I'm always at, at um, school working. Or if I get home late, i got to rush the basketball over. So it's rare that we're always on the same schedule. But anyway, Thanksgiving, we do sit down and eat together. So what's that, once a year? So anyway, I got to do better. I know. So let maybe I'll try for once a month. Let's start with once a month. You got to start somewhere, okay? So, <clears throat> so at CSU, they gave out this bingo, um, and I think it's awesome. Let me show you what it looks like. And so, I'm thinking that we can, you know, because I vlog Thanksgiving, and we all say what we're thankful for, but there are different things. It's like, which movie or book are you most thankful for? Which sound are you most thankful for? And I feel as though Saturdays and Sundays when I go to the track early in the morning and there's no one there, oh, it feels like the birds are just singing to me. The birds, the wind. It is the most magical experience ever. Oh my gosh, it's just, oh. It's just so, I just love it. Oh my gosh. And then they have, which holiday are you most thankful for? Christmas. Um, because Christmas is so commercialized and it brings me the most stress because the kids, you know, that it's just how they've been raised. It's how I've been raised. You know, you expect the gifts and the Christmas tree and blah, blah, blah. And it, it's rare that I'm ever in a financial, you know, woo, I'm going shopping for Black Friday. So it's, it's rare. It probably has never happened. So it's the holiday that stresses me out the most. Thanksgiving, I enjoy Thanksgiving because you say what you're thankful for. I would say it's the holiday of giving and being thankful. <clears throat> so I think I enjoy that most. 
and just having the food and you know sharing it with friends and my kids and so on and so forth so which game which which christian song are you most thankful for which bible verse or story are you most thankful for which thanksgiving dessert are you most thankful for so it's a whole bunch of stuff that you can talk about around the table so i'm really looking forward to do this child i'm about to go but i didn't want to lose it i'll lose a piece of paper real quick so i put this paper inside my a little computer because <laughs> honey i'll put that paper down be gone i was like no joy you know that paper's gonna be gone i even took pictures of it i sent it to, to all three kids we have our discussion topic for for thanksgiving so if that's something that you want to bring into your home just to get the conversation going with your family or with your friends so i think it's just a good idea so because I, I really need to get home then it's like oh can you stop at the store I'm so tired. I don't want to stop at the store. Now I don't want to cook. I live an hour away from the school. It's almost six o'clock. Kids are texting me. Look, those are my kids. I have a group. I have a group text with all three of the kids and Sydney. Oh my gosh. So I'm tired, y'all. I, I think I'm just too, I'm, I don't want to say I'm too old. <laughs> I'm just tired. I'm just tired. And then on Thanksgiving break, I almost feel like crying right now. It's still not a break because they, my kids are so needy and I, I have the only car. And it's like, it's, it's good stuff that they need to do. And I'm not going to punish them because I'm tired. And I just, just want to exist. This is why I say over and over, I cannot wait for the two years to be up when Sydney is gone. Because then for Christmas break, I have Bobby's hair. I don't have money to get her hair done. So I've, I've done my kid's hair, how old is Glenn? For 18 years, I've been doing their hair. This is when I say I do not enjoy doing hair. And people don't understand that I don't enjoy. I used to do hair for a living too. I've been doing hair probably since I've been 15 years old. My room will be packed with girls. So when I say I don't enjoy doing hair, I don't. I have to do Bobby's hair. That's two days. So my, my break, two days. Sydney has some church functions or something that she has <clears throat> and I will say Sydney will try her best to get rides so she she bums rides all the time so she really does Clint doesn't ask for rides or anything so it's not Clint he just exists <laughs> anyway then Bobby has basketball practice four days during the break where is the break for me? There's no break. This is when I tell y'all I'm tired. And it's all on me. I'm tired. Guys, I'm going to get out of here because I can feel my nerves getting worse. They bad. Now they're getting worse. Now I got to go to the store. What I got to go to the store for? I'm tired. I don't want to get out of my car and go into Walmart or whatever. But I have no choice. I... I literally have no choice. I have to go to the store. Um, it's that time of the month for my girls. So, you see what I'm saying? So, wh what other choice do I have? I have to go. <laughs> so it's not like, oh, I want to go to this party. Oh, I want to just take me to my friend's house. No. And how you going to say no to guards? You can't say no to guards. You know what I'm saying? Shh. I'm trying to get to heaven. I'm trying to have him bless me with financial abundance, okay? So I got to go to the store, get that. Oh, and Sydney is doing something. I don't know what she's doing. And she has to bring a dish. Something with church. How could I not bring the dish to church? Financial abundance, remember? Financial abundance. Lord Jesus. I ain't gonna talk about the financial stuff. Lord Jesus, my nerves, y'all. And then the kids at school tearing up my stuff. But then you know what happens? Then I get these little things. 
Then I get this. Then I back to oh oh I just had a wave of emotion. I'm trying to swallow it back. Tight, y'all. It's like you do so much. I do so much, so much, and this is when I told people, and I've said this before in another blog. I feel like the giving tree. Give, give, give. Whether it's my heart, my spirit, my soul. Well, it is almost 9 o'clock at night. Well, it's 8.32. Just made it home from school. I've been awake since 4.30 a.m. this morning. And <clears throat> now get a text from Sydney. I just laid down. Of course, I had to go to a grocery store. Then I was out of gas. Then the machine didn't work for the pump. Then I have to go inside the store. <laughs> And then I get a text. Can you pick me up now? All I could do was eat a pickle. That's all I got. A pickle. And now I'm trying to do some editing. That's all I got. I, I have nothing left. No energy to eat. No energy to go get this girl none whatsoever i done took all my clothes off i'm in bed all right and bobby has so much homework i can't even ask her to go and get her all right guys give this video a thumbs up like comment share subscribe